to the locker room now and have the coach Cliff Godwin join us after this three to one victory over Charlotte and coach congratulations. Uh, we got to start with Carson Wisenhunt and this one gets the Saturday start for the first time in his career. And this might've been the best one yet for him so far. Say what? Uh, that was a Friday night pitchers duel between McCowan and uh, Carson and Carson just went out there and won pitches. His pitch count was down. Um, they're very good offensively. Uh, they're, they're one of the best offensive teams that we face this year. And for Carson to go out there and just, you know, that's what Friday nights are in the American is, is just every pitch is the difference between winning and losing. Carson was unbelievable. Our defense was unbelievable. And Amac got a big swing off and Connor got a big swing off and Mayhew came in and shut the door. Yep. Uh, Offensively, uh, Norby, AMAC, yes, one demoralizes the other team, the other breaks its back. Um, just tell us about the power surge that you're seeing. Well, I don't, I don't know if it's really a power surge. It's just that it's been conducive to hit the past couple of days. Uh, the wind has been very favorable where, as you guys know, early in the season it blows in and now it's warmed up and it's been a little more favorable to us. But – the thing that we've got to continue to learn, I mean, that guy was really good on the mound, but we got his pitch count up. Hey, Matt got a swing off, and you could see, you know, we were able to put some things together. But they're really good. Um, it's the best Charlotte team that has been in Charlotte since I've been the head coach at East Carolina. They're well coached. They, they compete hard, and, and they're very talented. In a game like this, you need some defensive moments, and you got a couple in the early stage of this game. The double play in the fourth. And then the runner caught at third base in the fifth. And then the one pitch later, the inning was over with a strikeout. Those moments you have to look back on with how this thing unfolded and say those were so important to this team winning this game. Yeah, Coach Blumbo does an unbelievable job with our defense. Charlotte was trying to push the envelope, got a guy on. They went hit and run. Um, and then it was first and second. They tried to go hit and run again. Guy swung through a changeup. Seth made a great throw. To Zach Carson being quick to the plate allowed Zach, I mean, we're stumped just to really play catch with Zach. And then Carson got aside the inning. So, um, yeah, crucial. Um, Zach's double play. I mean, that that's a big league play. Coach O right there and, and, and Norb's turn. And then, you know, you look at Amax ball that he caught. I mean, we were shading him the other way and the ball's over the lights. And it's a really tough play for a left fielder running in full speed. And then Franny's play down the – Right field line, that's a big league play as well. And and that really was momentum. Guy hits a jack and, you know, just, hey, no big deal. And then maybe he comes back and strikes a guy out. This was a fun one here tonight, Coach. Congrats on the win. We will talk to you tomorrow. Thanks, Corey. Thanks, Coach O. Okay, we'll open up the questions for uh, Coach Godwin now. Good. Coach. When you look at both starting pitchers and the way they were just going, did you feel like the first team that would score would – get to breathe at least a little bit? And did Amax home run kind of do that for your side, you think? Definitely a big blow just the way those two pitchers were were out there just matching each other pitch for pitch. We had some opportunities and didn't have anything to show for it. Um, we probably had more opportunities, I think, than maybe Charlotte did as far as runners in scoring position. We just couldn't break through. I mean, the guy's really good. I mean, there's not all those scouts here to, to watch him if he's not really good. He pitched, he, he pitched better – this year than he did last year. I don't know what his velocity was consistently, but had his breaking ball slider going, his changeup going. He's throwing his changeup at righties, which he hadn't done that all year. So our guys just had tough sledding against him today. Coach, non case for Carson, but he got the majority of those at the top of the start of the order against some of their better guys, a lot of off speed stuff. Just, you know, his ability to pitch this early in his, you know, starting career, how big is that? Well, when you're, you're coached and you're a hitting coach and you're facing a guy like Carson, you, you got to try to take something away. So a lot of teams, Georgia Southern, Charlotte as well, they come in and they're like, hey, we're going to take his fastball away from him. And so then you've got to mix in some all speed. And his changeup is, is a plus pitch. And he had his breaking ball going a little bit today as well. And he had to, had to do that because they're very good offensively. But – just really pleased. Carson managed it. They were stepping out, calling time, just doing anything they could to try to rattle him. And I thought he did a really good job just maneuvering through it. I mean, look, it's different when you're out there and it's nothing, nothing, and it's in the fifth and the sixth inning. Every pitch is the difference between winning and losing the game. I'm just proud of him because he just went toe to toe with a really good pitcher. Coach, 
Okay, is there anything else for Coach Godwin? Coach uh, Aaron Fitt, I got one for you. Just following up on, on that, that change up you were talking about for Carson, I, I was trying to keep track of how many swing and misses he had with it, and I lost count. It just uh, It's as good a change up, I feel like, as I've seen in quite a while. How, how does that pitch compare with some of the really good ones you've, you've had over the years, and, um, and, and how much of a weapon do you think that pitch is for him? Well, Aaron, first off, I didn't know you're on the call. Thanks for being on the call. You, you, you don't, I don't get to see your face, I guess. I just hear your voice. But Carson is six foot four. He throws a fastball anywhere from 90 to 95 miles an hour downhill. And his arm speed on the changeup is, is like the fastball. So it's really hard to recognize when you're like, hey, I got to be ready for 94, 95. And then here comes a Bugs Bunny changeup. He just got really good arm speed. And he's doing a really good job of executing that pitch. Thank you. Carson, when you, you come into a game like this, you know their starter obviously has good stuff. I know you treat every game the same, all that sort of stuff, but do you feel a little bit more motion as this one kind of plays out and it looks like it's going to be a pitcher's duel? Uh, not really. Um, for me, I try not to focus on, like, the other team as much. We talk about that a lot. But um, I just try to go out there and do the same thing I've been doing, just fill up the zone and let the defense work and just be consistent in what I'm doing. When you finish your outing the way you did with four or five strikeouts in those last few innings, how nice is it to, to finish that way, you know, just putting guys out like that? I mean, it feels great. Um, I just know, like, at that point, my all speed was working really well for me. Like, they were kind of trying to take away my heater, and um, they were just fouling off. So I knew I could get them out front with change-ups or breaking balls. So just doing my best to keep it in the zone and make them swing and miss. This was a pretty tight game throughout. When Connor hit hit that home run, you were in the dugout. Uh, what did that? What did you know? You see there, and how nice was it to kind of breathe a little bit after that home run? Yeah, um, he hit that ball, and I mean, it's a great feeling to know like now we have a lead, and I'm still on the attack, even though I'm on the mound. Like, yeah, we have a lead, but I'm trying to go out there and just continue to do what I've been doing, just fill up the zone, let the defense work, and not worry about anything else. Carson Agnos made a, a tremendous play uh, early on. If that ball gets down the line, it could change a lot. Just talk about how important that that play was in that moment of the game. Yeah, that play was uh, it was a big play. Um, I kind of hung a breaking ball a little bit, and dude, he got on top of it. But Agnos was alert and ready to go. He uh, backhands the ball, gets a double play off of it. I mean, that's just a momentum swing for us to bring it back to the dugout and uh, kind of keep us alert and on our toes ready to go kind of shut them down hey Carson uh you know obviously your changeup was awesome tonight it seemed like maybe the first time through the order you kind of kept that break ball in your back pocket but once you got that pitch going it seemed like that was another real weapon for you um how have you been able to develop that pitch into that that third offering um and, and how do you like to use that pitch uh, as, as part of the game plan um, me and Coach Dietz have worked a lot. We worked a lot in the offseason um, on my changeup and my breaking ball um, because before I was throwing a slider and didn't really get good movement or didn't, like, have good conviction behind it. So we changed the breaking ball, and it became a swing and miss pitch. And then I tried to focus on the changeup after I got that pitch, and I felt comfortable with it. And then with the changeup, we worked on it probably the whole fall just to get more feel with it get comfortable throwing it and be able to throw it in any count, no matter what.